This is Finextra at Cybos, and I'm here on the Clear to Pay stand with Warren Gardner. Warren, the World Payments Report this year talks about the next round of payments innovation being focused on customer centricity. What does this mean for how banks are and should consider their payments modernisation projects? Uh, interesting question. Uh, at Clear to Pay, we talk about Payments 2020, uh, the new reality. And what that's all about is trying to uh, bring the bank's uh, current payment systems and operations up to the next generation of technology in order to meet this next generation of, of customer demand. Because uh, we're seeing a very clear trend in the market where in the past the focus has been more about STP rates and efficiency. We're now seeing this trend towards a, a more customer centric approach and experience. And a recent example of that of how taking a more customer centric uh, approach can have a material difference on the way in which the bank's payments business operate is simply by looking at a company like Square, who in the space of the last two years have entered the market with what is a very customer-centric approach to make the process simple. And as a result of that, they've carved out a very significant market share in the area of payments processing simply by taking that more customer-centric approach. So we're encouraging banks to recognise that and to look at how they may um, update their systems to, to, to in order to match that. How does this approach relate directly to banks' needs in processing, acquiring, settlement and transparency? Well, in order to, to, um, to meet these kind of market tornadoes that spin up out of nowhere, um, and it's clear that in the course of the next 20 years or 10 years, that these market tornadoes are going to spin up at an ever-increasing rate. And if banks want to, be, to have the opportunity to either create their own tornado or to actually respond quickly to one of these in-market tornadoes, we've taken the approach that banks need to be able to acquire anything, process that in any way and clear that anywhere. So that means being able to process not just traditional payments of a traditional form, but also being able to do these non-traditional payments whether it be acting as an intermediary for something like the, uh, a Facebook credit transaction or a voucher transaction uh, alongside their more traditional, because it's clear that banks' customers are starting to put value not only onto the traditional payment forms, in, but also into the non-traditional payment forms. What does this mean for the tangible experience of the customer initiating and receiving payments? Well, in, the, in that particular context, instead of the, uh, a customer having to go to multiple payment sites in order to transact through one particular form of currency and then going to a traditional banking site to do their traditional banking, there's an opportunity here for banks to be the touch point to, to the customer's experience, whether that be a normal, tr a traditional transaction or a non-traditional transaction. So banks then being the custodian of not just a person's money, but also a custodian of the things that people now are, f are putting value in this world that five years ago nobody would have predicted that individuals would put a value and trust in other institutions. So banks need to become the more the, the custodian and, and the, the centre of that for the future. Being able to handle any payment type in the world is an ambitious goal. How can this be realised when there are so many payment types today that simply can't be recognised by bank payment systems? Well, that, that's uh, very true because previously what banks have done is forced a customer to actually make the decision on what the payment type is up front whether it's going to be an international payment or whether it's going to be a domestic payment. And uh, what we're encouraging banks to do is to offer payments as a service, to look beyond just saying, what is the payment, but just saying to a customer, you tell me what, the, what you want to do, what the amount is, where it needs to go, and you don't need to worry about whether it's a telegraphic transfer or whether it's going through the ACH. We'll just process that payment as a service. So today, for example, I can go to a dry cleaning shop or I can go to any number of places where I will say I want my dry cleaning back by 4pm or I'm happy to do it the next day. I don't need to worry about how that's going to happen. I just want to say this is the service that I want. So customer, banks should be able to say to customers in that context that customer, you tell me simply what your payment is and I will look after it for you. Don't force the customer to actually make those decisions up front. That then becomes a much easier experience for the customer to go to the bank and to do their payments.